Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Duncan Robinson shares alarming injury update with just four games to go before postseason. Miami Heat sharpshooter Duncan Robinson recently provided a concerning update regarding his back. Robinson saw just 12 minutes of playing time in the Heat's most recent game against the Indiana Pacers on April 7 and finished with zero points on zero of four shooting from deep. In a five-game stretch spanning from March 31 to April 7, which marked his temporary return to the lineup, Robinson really struggled to shoot the ball with accuracy from deep. His best three-point shooting performance during that span came when he converted two of his five shots from deep in a matchup against the Houston Rockets on April 5. But when healthy, Robinson has been arguably the best three-point marksman on his team. For the 2023-24 regular season, he is averaging 2.8 made threes per game on 39.5% shooting from deep. He averages the second-most three-pointers made per contest on the Heat, behind only Tyler Harrow, who has appeared in just 38 of Miami's 78 regular season contests thus far, but is leading the team with 3.2 made threes per game. Robinson is going on the shelf at an inopportune time for the Heat, who are fighting for their playoff lives at the moment. Miami currently owns the number 8 seed in the Eastern Conference standings. The Heat could realistically finish as a top-six seed and avoid the play-in tournament if they finish the season strong and the Indiana Pacers, the current number six seed, pick up a couple of losses. But considering the Pacers are 1.5 games ahead of the Heat in the standings, it's more likely that the Heat will participate in the play-in tournament. The other three teams in line to land in the play-in tournament right now are the Philadelphia 76ers, Chicago Bulls, and Atlanta Hawks. Considering Robinson's knack for spacing the floor combined with his underrated playmaking chops, him being sidelined is a huge blow to the Heat. But at the same time, the Heat made it all the way to the 2023 NBA Finals not too long ago without Harrow, so they know how to overcome roadblocks. Knicks fans roast Stephen A. Smith for clueless Quentin Grimes, Isaiah Hartenstein, takes. Jalen Brunson and the New York Knicks have been impressive in navigating a slew of injuries as of late, holding strong in the upper portion of the Eastern Conference playoff picture despite the recent unfortunate news that power forward Julius Randle would miss the remainder of the season with a shoulder injury sustained during a late January game versus the Miami Heat. Still, Brunson has played at an all-NBA level throughout the duration of the campaign and the Knicks now have a legitimate chance to move up as high as the number 2 seed ahead of the NBA playoffs, which are slated to begin in just under two weeks. One person who loves what he's seeing from New York is none other than occasional Knicks fan and ESPN sports media personality Stephen A. Smith, who recently took to his own The Stephen A. Smith Show to explain what he's enjoyed in watching the Knicks as of late. I'm looking at, Quinton, Grimes, he's looked good, said Smith, poor at Cynical NYK on X, the social media platform formerly referred to as Twitter. I'm looking at Isaiah Hartenstein, as a reserve, giving you activity off the bench. I'm looking at Mitchell Robinson being here on the court, the only problem? Quentin Grimes hasn't been a member of the Knicks in around two months, as he was dealt to the Detroit Pistons in a trade deadline deal that saw Boyan Bogdanovich and Alec Burke sent to the Big Apple. Furthermore, contrary to Smith's assertion, Hartenstein is still the main starter at center for the Knicks, despite Robinson's recent return from injury. Smith's comments could probably be dismissed as evidence of someone who isn't an avid watcher of the sport pretending to be and getting caught, which they certainly are, until you remember that Smith also has a vote for the league MVP, meaning that someone who doesn't pay attention the NBA regularly will be helping make a decision that affects players' salaries, career legacies, and has many other significant implications. As sports media personalities like Smith continue to expose themselves, it wouldn't be a surprise if Adam Silver stepped in and fixed the system to make sure the MVP and other awards are voted upon by people who watch and understand the game.
In any case, the Knicks will be looking to expand upon last year's trip to the NBA playoffs, where they beat the Cleveland Cavaliers in an easy five games in the first round before bowing out to the eventual Eastern Conference champion Miami Heat in the semifinals. Brunson played particularly well in that Heat series but didn't have a whole lot of help from his New York teammates, a gap that the Knicks have made strides to fix with several moves this year, including the aforementioned trade of which Knicks fan Stephen A. Smith had no knowledge. Of course, it will be a lot tougher with Randall out of the lineup, because, although he has flamed out in historic fashion in each of his two playoff appearances, he is still another talented player who can at the very least act as a decoy to give Brunson more space. Clay Thompson reveals heat-inspired motivation for potential play-in to NBA Finals run. The Golden State Warriors are almost certainly going to be competing in the anxiety-inducing NBA play-in tournament, and they are embracing the challenge. There is a chance the team can move up to the coveted number 8 slot, which would mean that a postseason berth can be clinched with just one win instead of two, but the idea of running the gauntlet is not rattling the dubs. It actually appeals to them. It would be nice to get to eight, but if we don't, it's not the end of the world, Clay Thompson said, per Jack Winter of Clutch Points, after the Warriors' pivotal 134-120 victory over the Los Angeles Lakers Tuesday night. We take a lot of motivation from the Heat last year, who I think had to play two play-in games, and they made a run all the way to the finals. Being placed in a highly stressful environment like the one that defines the play-in tournament can take its toll. Assuming Golden State stays molten hot, 1-8 of 9, and finds an opening into the NBA playoffs, it might be running on fumes. Though, as Thompson notes, the Miami Heat used their play-in scare as fuel for an exhilarating and history-making finals run only a year ago. The Warriors operate with a similar level of tenacity and intestinal fortitude that is essential for teams to draw on when they are in do-or-die mode. I think we're capable of a run like that, the Splash brother said. Obviously can't look ahead, but whatever happens we'll all be ready and we'll all know that it can be. There's no task too tall for us, I really believe that. Golden State had no trouble rising to the occasion in the Crypto.com arena, in a possible preview of what awaits the squad next week. The Dubs, 44-35, 10th in Western Conference, exploited an Anthony Davis-less Lakers group and bombarded their opponents with three-pointers. Clay Thompson scored a team-high 27 points on 10 of 16 shooting. Steph Curry added 23 and connected on all six of his attempts from distance. Even Draymond Green participated in the three-point palooza, 5 of 7 for 15 points. In total, Golden State drained 26 buckets from downtown, 63.4%, just shy of its franchise record. This was not just an important win, it was a statement win that should have the West on alert. Defeating another inconsistent team like L.A. when it is shorthanded does not launch the Warriors into contender status on its own, but this effort showcased how cohesive they can be. Many prepared to eulogize this franchise when injuries prevented it from advancing to the playoffs two years in a row, but they were silenced when Golden State won another championship in 2022. Now, the skepticism might be invalidated once again. Playoff Jimmy Butler and an all-time great coach in Eric Spolstra led the Heat to an incomprehensible feat in 2023, but the team also relied on its famed culture to thrive in unpromising circumstances. The Warriors' culture has helped them overcome tough times throughout the season. Who is to say it is not strong enough to survive the NBA play-in tournament, and beyond? And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Clay Thompson? Leave your opinion in the comments.